Hey y'all, what is up? And welcome back to my channel for another part of The Sims 4 Seasons. Alright, so in the last part, we spent a little bit of time with Wyatt and Stevie as they had their baby shower, preparing for their baby, and today Clara called him this morning and she was like look the baby shower was a hella awkward you know we haven't really spoken and you know they kind of got in a little argument about you know this this tension between them and their relationship and so she was like look is there any way that you can meet me and just I want to talk I want to sort these feelings out I, I, I know you have a baby on the way and I know you know I'm technically kind of you know working on a, a relationship with Scott but I just you're my friend Wyatt and I don't want to lose you so can we please just talk this out so he agreed to meet her so they are having breakfast it wasn't hard for him to get away from Stevie she actually went into work you know to you know train people while she's gonna be off and you know all that fun stuff while she's preparing for the baby so we kind of just told her hey you know while you're at work I'll see you when you get back I'm gonna go you know around town and and get ready you know for the baby and you know go shopping buy some stuff I don't know he feels awful lying to her and keeping the fact that he's sitting here with Clara for breakfast from Stevie but Stevie would be very 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 upset if she knew that he was meeting Clara for breakfast so it is also um what well, it says baby day is tomorrow but also y'all it is the neighborhood brawl. It's apparently a holiday. I'm not really sure why. <laughs> um, but anyways, all, all the Sims are fighting. So if you see a fight going on in the background, just ignore it. Um, I'm playing in a save file that I, I don't know if this generated on its own or if they chose this holiday. It's kind of strange to me. <laughs> um, honestly... <laughs> Y'all, this is funny, but when we first, when I first started this, when as soon as, okay, Clara called him, right, and they met here, Clara started fighting him, she started fighting him, and I was gonna go with it, but it was just kind of too weird, didn't go with my storyline, so we're gonna pretend they didn't fight, so that's why I started it here, but I mean, Clara whooped his ass, she really did, y'all. <laughs> He should be embarrassed. But anyways, yeah, hopefully she's not going to try to fight him again. But I just, I really want them to have, you know, a conversation. So, he's like, yeah, um, I'm sorry for, you know, what I said. I know it upset you. Because in case you guys didn't see the part where, you know, Carter kind of, oh my god, please don't fight. Please don't fight. What are y'all doing? Can you please sit together? Sit and chat here, please. Oh my gosh, I hate coming to restaurants and they just, they, they won't sit. They just do whatever they want. But y'all just talk, please. Just sit and just talk so I can narrate. Narrate. I can even talk. Anyways, when Carter and Sophia, you know, she rejected his proposal. Um, they were all so shocked. And Claire and Wyatt was kind of talking about it. And he was like, you know, things, things change, you know. I mean, we shouldn't, you know pursue anything probably because you know things can change and it pissed her off it pissed Claire off that he would just kind of like insinuate that her feelings weren't genuine for him when they both know that they do have genuine feelings for each other oh my gosh they're pissing me off please sit down and talk there's no need to stand up but anyways he's like yeah I'm sorry if I upset you with what I said uh, I didn't mean it it's just I have a lot going on and she's like yeah I understand you have a baby on the way your life's about to change and Wyatt you are the one just to point this out you are the one that confessed your feelings to me we wouldn't even be in the situation if you would just kept it to yourself and he's like well you know what I'm not going to apologize <laughs> because seeing you with Scott just really confirmed that there's there's more than a friendship that I feel for you there's that there's more than that love it's it's different and um I felt like I owed it to you to tell you um so I'm sorry if I complicated things. And she's like, well, you know, you're my friend. You're my brother's best friend. I didn't expect this to happen when I moved in with Carter and uh, you. I didn't expect you to even be here, but you've you've grown on me. You really have. And, and more than anything, you're my friend. And I want to be there for you. I, I want to be there for Stevie. Stevie's my friend. And I, I hate this, but, you know, you're right. You know, things can change. And just because we have feelings for each other doesn't mean that it it's we're, like we're meant to be you know and he's like yeah 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 I agree so she's like friends and he's like yeah we're friends 
and I think deep down they both know that they're not really just friends, but for the sake of the situation that they're in, they're just going to call it a friendship and call it a day. He's just feeling himself completely right now, but we're going to have her hurry up and wrap up this meal because tomorrow is baby day, and I really kind of want to focus on Stevie and the baby and, um, you know, having her come home and just kind of seeing how it affects Wyatt once his baby girl is actually truly, really here. Um, I mean, honestly, we could probably go fight with somebody <laughs> because, you know, if they don't participate in a holiday or whatever, then they get really sad. And for some reason, when they fight, they don't hate each other. It's not like a, oh, I don't like you, let, let me just knock you out kind of thing. It's, it's, oh, no, this is what we're doing. We're fighting. This is a thing. This is a holiday. Let's just, let's just fight. See, for example, it says, um... Time to practice that right hook. Today is all about starting fights with other Sims. Like, which I said is kind of strange, but I don't want him to be sad tomorrow. So, why not just go and throw some hands with somebody? Um, I don't know. Is there anybody that he dislikes? Oh my gosh, we could so go and fight <laughs> Scott. <laughs> but we're not going to do that because Claire would be pissed. So, anyways, um, I think we need to go ahead. Oh, not first kiss. Woo! <laughs> And give her a hug goodbye. We're going to give her a romantic embrace. I don't care. There, there's more than friendliness between them. So he's going to give her a hug. And he's like, well, thanks for, you know, calling me. And I'm glad we were able to talk this through. And she's like, yeah, me too. And I'm really excited for the baby to be here. And he's like, yeah, me, me too. Really. <laughs> All right. So anyways, let's go ahead and uh, can we say goodbye? I guess not in group. How are we going to do this? We're just going to say, just go away. I know that sounds rude, but it's just going to cause her to leave, which is what we want, essentially. Um, I mean, we could just go and start a fight with anybody, which I know is kind of, like, weird, and I, I hate it. I mean, I, I would fight him, but he's his little kid's right here, and I don't want to whoop his ass in front of his kid. That's embarrassing. Uh, Warren Styles, you know what? Why not? Let's just come over here and uh, friendly introduction. Let's just go ahead and fight, get this over with. Y'all, really, this is so weird, and I'm sorry. I mean, nothing's even working. <laughs> because uh, I guess this is like a glitchy little lot here. I'm not really sure why it's not working. But, um, I don't know, I, I want him just to fight. It's, it's what you're supposed to do today. So let's fight and see what happens. Um, Stevie's not going to be fighting, obviously, because she's pregnant. So we're not going to do that. But at least let's have one of them accomplish the holiday. Okay, here they go. So weird. I'm not sure why everybody wants to fight today, but come on, Carter. I mean, not Carter, Wyatt. <laughs> I get my Sims so confused, y'all. Sorry. All right, so we won, which is good. We accomplished it. Now they're hugging. They're hugging it out. Oh, and he's got a black eye. See, so yeah, maybe it's just kind of like a purge, a way to let out your anger. Let's just go for that. Let's just pretend that's what's going on when they fight. I think it's so funny. They just hug after they fight. <laughs> oh, his black eye's already gone. Okay. All right, so I love how it's fall time, but here in Oasis Springs, it's like super hot today, which is, which I like. It makes it you know, realistic, because this is the desert, um, and I'm pretty sure that's how Del Sol Valley is going to be once we get the new expansion pack, which is pretty cool, um, so it looks like Stevie is still at work, and she gets home, um, at 6 p.m., so the baby, she's in her third trimester, so she's due to give birth any second, but technically tomorrow is the day that she's going to give birth, so I'm crossing all my fingers and toes that she doesn't give birth a day early, um, pretty sure she just went into that third trimester this morning, hopefully, I'm right, <laughs> um, but anyways, I'm going to have him, I guess, come over here and put away this breakfast, and, uh, so they have got the nursery ready, they're all prepared for the baby, and now they're just waiting anxiously, they've got their hospital bags packed, I mean, what, put in inventory, I don't, I don't want to put this in inventory, I mean, but, uh, if this is the only way to clean it up, I guess I'm going to put it in the inventory, um, but anyways, yeah, they're all prepared for the baby to come, and I did ask you guys for some name suggestions, and I did pick one of y'all's names, and so let me just tell you who won, who I love, I loved all y'all's names, by the way, I really did, but, but, one just really stood out to me and was really unique and really different, um, well, it's not really different, but I, I like the spelling of it, so, um, 
It is who? I mean, let me. I'm looking. Sorry, y'all. Um, Ashley Nicholson. Hey, girl. <laughs> Thank you so much for the name suggestion. Um, I asked for you guys to send me some baby names, and I preferred unisex names. And she gave me a bunch, but I really liked Ryan, but it's spelled R H Y A N for a girl. I think that is so cute. So they have decided that the baby's name is going to be Ryan. Oh, and they are so freaking excited. Um, I think I'm going to fast forward a little bit, play through until Stevie gets home and have uh, Carter probably just work on, oh yeah, we need to work on our programming a little bit. All right, so I had Stevie leave work early because realistically, she's on family leave. She's in her third trimester and I forgot, <laughs> my bad, to have her take her little family leave. So I was just pretending that she went in for paperwork, you know, get all the last minute changes for, you know, family leave, training the girl that's gonna be taking her place. Um, and she was just really tired. So I decided to just bring her on home. She is literally about to freaking pop. What is this? She's red eyes all oh, from being very tired okay so she's going to be taking her a shower and also she's been talking to Wyatt about kind of getting rid of the shower and installing um a tub as well so they don't have a standalone shower because of course once Ryan ages up into a toddler and she's going to need a bath to be bathed in so um they have been saving up some money I know it says they have $93,000 but it's just because he's part of our family right now I think I'm not really sure why we have that much money but um I need to change that because realistically we don't have that much money so let me just go ahead and do that we're gonna give them about uh five thousand that's about that's realistic they both make pretty decent money in the programming career but anyways she is so freaking tired so after she gets out of the shower she's gonna come over here and just be like hey give him a little kiss on the cheek and lay down and go to bed get her some rest because the baby is due any minute so Wyatt invited Carter over to you know just check on him and see if he wanted to come over and watch Sims of the Dead <laughs> with him and he just really wanted to check on his best friend because you know he has been very heartbroken over Sophia and then we also found out which y'all don't know this but spoiler alert Sophia okay so she said no to Carter's proposal because of you know her ex coming back you know which is Dalton's dad. And apparently he's been, you know, trying to get back with her. He wants to be in his life. And she was in love with this man at one point in time. And yeah, he kind of abandoned her. But apparently he's grown up, yada, yada, yada. Well, anyways, she has moved in with him. So she's completely 100% moved on from Carter, which really made the heartbreak situation just even more heartbreaking. Um, because it just kind of proved to him that it wasn't real. It was real for him, but it wasn't reciprocated. So, yeah, Wyatt definitely feels for him, and it kind of feels a little bit guilty that, you know, he's he's got this blessing, such as a baby, and then Stevie, and then his best friend's just kind of hurting, and uh, Car Carter ain't got a shirt on. He's like, well, it's hot as hell up in here in Oasis Springs, <laughs> so he took his shirt off. <laughs> but anyways, um, why it's just like, you know, dude, you think, you know, you're, when are you going to be ready to move on? And Carter's like, yeah, I mean, I need to move on, but honestly, I'm, I'm scared of getting hurt again, you know, that was the most serious relationship I've ever been in, and I thought I had a, basically a child, I basically helped raise him for about four years, he, he was with Sophia for about four years, so he helped pra practically raise Dalton from four to eight years old, so, you know, it's like I didn't just lose, you know, my girlfriend, but I, I lost, you know, a child basically you know he, he meant so much to me no 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 you're, you're not about to go in there and you're not about to fight okay well you know what they're just gonna rough house a little bit we're, we're pretending they're just rough house and that's all you know neighborhood brawl haha -ha, funny good times okay anyways I'm so, I'm so over this neighborhood brawl I'm so glad when it's over uh he's just like take your anger out on me but it's all right <laughs> oh okay and Carter did he sure took that anger I know they're gonna hug it out cute <laughs> All right, but okay, I guess he's gonna go to sleep. So let's come up here and ask Carter to leave and just be like, oh, thanks for coming over <laughs> and beating my ass. <laughs> but uh, we're sleepy, so we're gonna go ahead and join Stevie in the bed. And then tomorrow, when we wake up, we should have a baby here. We should have a baby on the way. 
But yeah, I'm super excited to catch up with uh, Clara and Scott and just really Carter and also going to have to, you know, get him back out there in the dating world, which will be fun. Kind of nerve-wracking for me too, but I don't want my baby to get hurt again. Okay, so it's like 1 o'clock in the morning, and Stevie is going into early labor. It's not technically um, baby day yet, but it's okay. It's still the same day, so she's giving birth on the right day. So Wyatt naturally is freaking out, and she's like, dude, calm your tits. I'm, I'm hungry. I'm just kidding. All right, you know what? We're not doing all that. We're going to fix that real quick. And then I want them to go to the hospital. We're going to do this the right way. This is our first baby. This is our first baby of the series so we're going to have Wyatt join us and we're going to the hospital to have this little girl all right so it's like she's going back to the surgery station to have this baby Wyatt where are you at he's over here buying him a snack all right come here let's be here for our, this the birth of our child all right neighborhood neighborhood brawl was awful for her what do you mean it was awful for him you, you fought twice Okay, whatever. See, I, that was a stupid holiday. It was pointless. It was pointless for us to even fight because he he didn't even have a good holiday. That's stupid. Alrighty, so it is a girl, and we are going to name her Ryan, spelled like that. And we're going to give her Wyatt's last name, which is Cahill. So Ryan Cahill, our sweet little baby girl. Y'all, I'm so excited. This is like our first baby of, of the season. And pretty much any of my Sims 4 Let's Plays. This is my only Sims 4 Let's Play at the moment. This is my first baby. So this is very special. She's going to go down in history. And Stevie's just going to cuddle her. Welcome her to this world. She's not having it. She is a fussy little thing. Alright, but I guess we're going to go ahead. Okay, let's get. Oh my gosh, really? Mm, can we get out of the gown? Can we, can we get back into our normal clothes, please? Alrighty, there we go. And now let's go back home. Alrighty, good morning. So it is officially a baby day. It is 6 o'clock. So when they got home, they got the baby settled in and kind of tried to catch up on their sleep. And she is waking up this morning with a dirty diaper. So Wyatt, who is the most rested, is up tending to her. So it is baby day. We've already given birth to the baby. But really, what that consists of is just having a thankful spirit and giving flowers. So we'll, you know, invite over Claire and Carter and all of our friends and let them just come over and meet Ryan and, you know, give Mama some flowers and just really just be really thankful for this little, this little angel here. All right, so let's have him cuddle his baby girl. All right, so it looks like Stevie is pretty rested, but she's really hungry, but I really want her to come over here and oh propose okay nah maybe not let's come over here and just give him a little kiss on the cheek because i mean hello there baby girls here and she just feels like closer to him than ever and you know kind of like in the sims 2 <laughs> part yesterday with don lothari in case y'all missed it having a little girl and kind of just bringing him and dina closer uh this might actually be the trick it might bring them closer and i've had some of you even comment on the last part saying that you guys don't actually mind stevie and wyatt together as bad as you thought stevie is such a likable sim she really is it's kind of hard to like dislike her even though she kind of got pregnant and ruined the potential of you know clara and wyatt but but she's just a sweetheart so it's hard like I said to dislike her so yeah I don't know I don't dislike the idea either but I know low-key and you guys know low-key that Wyatt has these feelings for Claire and I don't know if they're gonna go away they're, they're trying to push him away but we'll see uh, Carter texted him and said hey man congratulations on the new addition to the family you know I'll be over later to see her can't wait to meet her ha oh, he's so excited um, I mean, just look at him. He is such a zaddy. I mean, damn. Whew. Oh, whew, whew, whew. <laughs> I'm such a freak. All right, let's come over here and just, like, talk to our little girl. He's, like, so obsessed with her. He really is. Um, oh, my gosh. Stevie, we might want to, uh, I guess, clean up. And um, I know she doesn't really, and she doesn't need a shower. But we're going to have her change outfits. Uh, let's get out of our undies if we're about to have some people over. That's probably the best thing to do. Um, she does not work today, which is good. Um, technically, she does have um, family leave. And he's, oh, he's coming over here and just kissing her. And like I said, he is just really, really excited. Um, you know, about, about the baby and everything. And 
how do how do you have be thankful so they're gonna yeah they're gonna share how thankful they are you know of each other and thankful for ryan um and i want her to do the same because we have to make sure share baby day spirit <laughs> um let's see be thankful we have to make sure this is a successful holiday um the birth of their baby girl, it should be. But anyways, let's invite to hang out at the current lot. Let's invite Clara, Carter, and Philippe over. Um, and I guess we can bring Scott over just because, you know, Clara's, you know, kind of in a relationship. They're not officially in a relationship, but they're getting there. Um, and, you know, he wants to be respectful of that. So he's going to say, you know, you can bring Scott if you want. And y'all just come over and we'll, we'll make it a fun little day. So hopefully everybody... Um, is off work and they can join us. Looks like everyone's coming over. Let's have Stevie come in here and cuddle Ryan before everybody comes. She's gonna want just a little bit of alone time with her baby girl because everybody's about to come over here and show her some loving. All right, so Scott and Clara have arrived and Clara brought Stevie and Ryan this beautiful little bouquet of pink flowers that she arranged, which I thought was really nice. And she also brought Scott. So, of course, why I was out here being nice and, you know, just chatting with him. Um, I'm starving. Want to go grab lunch with me at the chowder house? No, no, I don't. <laughs> <sighs> okay, and I also moved her crib up a little bit because I wanted him to be able to show the baby off to all of his friends because I think when you do that, um, showing the baby off, it kind of will allow the person you're showing the baby to and the baby to have, you know, a relationship. So they'll come in here and like start hanging out with it and chatting with it and loving on it. I think that's how it works, but I could be completely wrong, but she's just like, oh, she is so beautiful. So now we're going to show the baby off to um, Carter, which poor Ryan, she's trying to sleep, but she's like the center of her daddy's world right now. And he is just like showing her off to everybody. Doesn't she look just like me? <laughs> And she is just like, put me down, dang it. Daddy, put me down. I'm sleepy. <laughs> All right. Carter's like, man, congratulations. She's so freaking beautiful. And I think that they're just going to give him a nice little hug here. Just a friendly hug. Um, because they're just, they are. They're genuinely so happy for him. And he's like, this is going to change your life, you know. And it, it kind of upsets Carter. And Carter's like, it kind of just brings him back to Dalton and brings his mind to Dalton. And I think next time we we hang out with Carter and Claire, we're going to have Carter hopefully call Sophia and just ask him or ask her if we can see, you know, Dalton, if Dalton wants to, which I think Dalton would. I mean, I think he misses Carter. He's probably so confused about the whole situation. Um, but he's like, yeah, I mean, this is going to change your life. You know, kids kids will do that and he's like yeah well I'm really excited so anyways let's have Stevie come over here and just thank Clara so much for the beautiful flowers and Clara's like you're welcome she's absolutely beautiful and we have not met um Scott so she's like yeah this is Scott and she's like hi it's nice to meet you thank you for coming he's like yeah she's beautiful congratulations <sighs> so all seems to be well you guys if you ask me it's kind of like the calm before the storm as I like to call it everyone's getting along everyone's so happy and so supportive but there's so much tension in the air that is gonna have to have a breaking point at some point so we shall see we shall see but y'all I think I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this part up because we had a lot happen so I'm not gonna overdo it and just kind of put that much on y'all's plate in one day in one part but anyways guys if you like this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up thank you again for all the name suggestions and i absolutely love the name ryan so thank you so much and um yeah comment everything that you want to see what's your you know opinions of what's gonna happen down below and subscribe if you have not and i will talk to y'all later bye <laughs>
Somewhere by a gated star Baby, they ain't never gonna find me 